What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. And today, guys, we are looking for the brand new Ultimate Legend cards that came out today, the best cards that are going to be released in Madden all of this year, Barry Sanders and Jerry Rice. Barry Sanders actually gives plus five to speed and plus five to agility. Are you serious? Plus five to speed? Yeah, so if I get this, um, I, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, this card is so crazy good that I might have to keep it on my team. Um, but the Jerry Rice card is another card that is absolutely incredible. Um, that card is doing some crazy things on the auction block right now as well. Uh, I think at the moment, let me double check here. Um, I, if I remember correctly, the, the Jerry Rice is actually going for somewhere around like 2 million coins at the moment. And uh, the Barry Sanders is actually going for like 3 million coins at this moment. Uh, the Rice actually also adds plus 5 to awareness and plus 5 to catching as well. So it is definitely the best receiver in the game. The Barry Sanders unquestionably the best running back in the game. It blows all the other ones out of the water as far as I'm concerned. Um, but of course... You know, unless you open them in packs, you're going to be paying millions of coins for them. Uh, I don't see any way that either of these cards stays under a million coins for at all. I don't even know if they'll ever get there. So, in my opinion, if you can pull these cards and you're looking to build the best possible ultimate team, these are the ones that you have to have. That's just all there is to it. You have to have these cards. Now, if you're somebody like me that's not going to be spending a million coins on cards, you're probably going to be selling these. Uh, it, it, that's probably the most likely scenario. If I come across these cards, I'm probably going to sell them. And uh, if that happens, we're going to have some awesome pink slips. So hopefully we can get these cards. Uh, one of them would be amazing. Either one. If I can pull any Ultimate Legends, I'd be very happy. Um, I've also heard that people are still pulling some Golden Ticket cards. So that's a possibility as well. I'm going to be looking to do that. Also, there's some decent Final Edition cards out there. But what we're going to be doing today is actually opening up 14 packs. So that should bring me down roughly 100,000 coins. I think it's 105,000 if, if I did the math correctly in my head. Uh, but that'll mean 14 packs for you guys to watch here. And you'll see my live reactions to each one. We will see if I have juiced packs right here and right now. If I pull out a Barry Sanders, it's over. As far as I'm concerned, uh, this is definitely a juiced pack situation if I pull a Barry Sanders. So pay attention, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And uh, we'll see what we open up in these packs, huh? All right, first pack, and we're going to be opening up pro packs here. Unfortunately, they did get the all pro packs out of uh, the game last night. So uh, we'll see We'll see what we open up here in just the standard pro packs. I wish that there were like legend packs or something to get. First card out is the defensive playbook, 49ers. Uh, we do get Des Bryant. I love Des Bryant, but that card's only 79 overall. Overall, uh, Jabari Greer, and that's pretty much going to do it for this pack. Uh, we do get a, a collectible here, a Gene Upshaw collectible. Oh boy, an Ultimate Legend collectible. Those aren't really worth much, uh, if I do remember correctly. So not a lot in this first pack, but uh, we're not going to be discouraged by that. This is just the first pack, and uh, there's plenty to go still. First card out here, Warren Sapp collectible. Uh, I don't know what that's worth off the top of my head, but uh, I think it's probably worth a, a decent chunk. So hopefully uh, that that is worth something so that uh, we, we don't lose a ton of coins in this pack. Nothing else in the pack worth much of value. Moving on to pack number three. Heath Miller is the first card out. This is Madden 25 Heath Miller. And yes, I am just uh, quick revealing some of these. Not really any method to it or anything like that, but you never know what you're going to get anyway. Um, a Charles Woodson Elite Collectible. I, again, I don't know exactly what this go, goes for, but I know it goes in the Charles Woodson Collectible, uh, or the Collection, which is a decent card. Um, I actually have one of them on my team, so um, I, I'm assuming this goes for at least a, a little bit, probably close to enough to pay for the pack at least, and, and uh, that's really all that we're asking for at this point. If we can keep getting cards that pay for the packs, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Continuing on here. And just nothing in this pack at all. Absolutely nothing. Um, best card is uh, Rolando McLean. Eh, not really uh, much we can do with that, unfortunately. Continuing on here. 
All right, Washington Playbook is the first card out here. Jim Schwartz. Uh, if it was that sweet Jim Schwartz card that I have, that would have some value. But unfortunately, you can't pack that, and uh, you can't even sell it. Ooh, oh, baby! Woo! Ultimate Legend Lawrence Taylor! That's what I'm talking about, son! Plus five power move! Oh, baby! That now might... This might be the best card that I've ever opened up in this game. Woo! I, I'm looking for Ultimate Legend Barry and Jerry Rice, but I will unquestionably take this. This card is insane. Ultimate Legend Lawrence Taylor. Oh, baby. We are talking about a sick card here. Seriously. Look at this card's attributes. 94 speed, 97 block shed, 101 pursuit. Oh, man. Plus that power move. Oh, that is an absolute beast of a card, guys. Um, I, I am just, I'm beyond words right now, uh, that, that is amazing. I, I have amazing luck right now, there's no question about it. My packs are absolutely on fire. Um, I don't know, like I said guys, it, I, if I have juice packs, I am, EA, I love you. Thank you so much if that's the case. <laughs> Seriously, holy cow, I am, I am so happy right now, that is an amazing pull. Oh man, my heart's kind of racing right now. I, I usually uh, don't get so excited about cards, but man, that, that is an awesome pull. I, if I get nothing else in this bundle, uh, that I'm totally okay with it. I, I can't complain. Absolutely cannot complain. But we've still got quite a few packs to pull here, so that's good news. Ben Jones here, out of this pack. An awesome walk collectible, that's not too bad. I, I don't know exactly what that goes for, but um, decent enough anyway. I'm getting some decent collectibles, I think, anyway. Um, again, I, I I'm don't really keep up on the prices of the collectibles, unfortunately, so I can't really tell you guys without looking at it, and, and I don't want to take time in the video to look up a card that's worth 4,000 coins, so... You know, whatever. Oh, DJ Swearinger. This card actually goes for a decent chunk. I actually uh, packed one of these the other day, and it, it, I sold it for, I think, 20,000 coins. So uh, this is definitely a decent pull, and one that will certainly pay for uh, this pack anyway, uh, probably for a couple packs. Very nice pull. I'm going to throw that in my current roster. Everything else is going to go to the reserves, of course. Let's see here. We've, we've still got a decent number of packs to open up here, guys. So uh, there, there definitely could be some, some more uh, awesome cards in this uh, bundle here. Zane Beatles, oh boy, that's going to do it for this pack. Uh, normally I actually keep my contract ex extensions because I don't like to go in and buy them because it's such a pain in the ass, but uh, I'm, I'm just going to throw everything in the reserves right now in case I get some good stuff and I don't have enough in my actives. So um, Mike Tomlin, I actually used this card when I first started. Um, so that brings back a little nostalgia for me. Broderick Bunkley, nothing. Nothing in this pack, that's alright though. Again, that, that Lawrence Taylor, I, I if I pull nothing else of value, I'm totally cool with that. Seriously. I have no problem just pulling that. First card out of this pack is Daniel Manning, which probably means that there's nothing else of value. And there really isn't in this pack. That's alright though. Still got a couple more to go. I wish there were some like premium packs or some legend packs or something that I could open up after getting that uh, Lawrence Taylor card. Best card in this pack is Marcel Darius. Meh. Nothing much. I, I'm not somebody that reads through all the cards like other people do. I know most of them aren't worth anything, so um, if for some reason I you see something that I just passed up that has value, like some random silver or gold card or something like that, let me know in the comments section. I'm assuming that that's not the case. Uh, Chris Houston is the gold card in this pack, so again, not much in this one. That's all right, though. We've still got, two, what, two more packs? Or no, one more pack here. This is the final pack for... What I planned on opening, um, and we'll see what happens here in this pack and see if I open up anything else, because like I said, my packs are on fire right now, so uh, it might be time to open up a couple more. Um, I, I think I'm going to here. I did get another Chris Houston, so not much value there. So this is where I was planning on ending it, but I am going to open up three more packs, 
and we'll see what I can get out of it. Uh, I'm not really expecting much of anything, but, you know, let's, let's give it a try. Let's see what we can pull. Three more packs. All right, first card out. Another Asuma collectible. Uh, this should at least close to pay for the pack. Um, not much else in here. The Brandon Gibson is the gold card for the pack. Maybe I'll uh, try out doing that awesome walk collection. Who knows? I know that card doesn't really go for much, but still a pretty decent card. I, I still like having it on my team. Adam Jones, the gold card out of this pack, so eh, not much of value there. All right, final pack here. And uh, we'll see if I can get anything decent. Again, not really expecting anything, but, you know, let's let's try it out. I, I got that Lawrence Taylor. I'm totally fine with everything else, like I said. Final pack. Here we go. Mike McCoy playbook. Let's go through it backwards. Uh, like I said, not I'm not a superstitious person, but I know some people are, so we'll go through it backwards for you guys. Kareem Jackson is the gold card. Um, hey, a gold contract extension. I always love those. I'm going to throw that on my current roster. Everything else is going to the reserves from this pack. And uh, that's going to do it for this today's uh, opening, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, that Lawrence Taylor card, the best card I've ever opened in this game without question. Uh, I think it's still going for like 800,000 or more coins on PlayStation 4. So uh, it's an amazing card. And uh, I'm astonished that I was able to open it unquestionably got my money back and that's going to mean some kick-ass pink slips for you guys uh, we're not going to do Lawrence Taylor pink slips I'm just going to sell that card but we are going to do some awesome pink slips going forward guys over the next couple of weeks you guys are going to see some sweet cards up for you guys to potentially win so do pay attention to that we might also be doing some standard giveaways as well so be on the lookout make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you are aware when I put out the new videos and uh, if you guys would, leave some comments in the comments section. Let me know if you think my packs are juiced. Uh, it, I'm a YouTuber, not a huge YouTuber though. So if they are juicing people with my size of a channel uh, in packs, that's crazy. I, I would be really shocked if he is doing that. But, you know, some people claim that that's the case. Maybe it is. I don't know. I, I can't really defend it at this point. I've never pulled anything as good as I have the past couple of days with that J.J. Watt a few days ago and now the Lawrence Taylor. So with that said, guys, thank you again for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.